Hi everyone, I'm Trish. Um, I hope everyone had a good Christmas. Just thought I would write, uh, write, I'm not writing, I'm talking. Thought I'd make a quick video about my Christmas, um, particularly related to food, because I know people want to know what Christmas is like for someone with a lap band. Um, now I've been lap banded for almost three years. My lap band at the moment is alternating between being too tight and being too loose. I'm, I am actually having quite a lot of problems with it. I'm having a lot of pain when I eat. Um, no matter what I eat or how much of it I eat, I'm, I'm having a lot of pain. Um, at Christmas time, I, it's one of the days where I let myself have free reign. I, I don't even think about what I'm eating. I don't think, oh, this is really carby or this has got sugar or whatever. If I want to eat it, I eat it um, and I let my lap band guide how much of it I eat uh, that, and that's the beauty of the lap band. So um, yesterday I uh, was at my sister's house and we just sort of like just nibble on you know Christmassy food you know pretzels and cheese and crackers and dips and pate and you know just all those really yummy things um, before having uh, I guess what is what is actually like a, a pretty late lunch, pretty late lunch. I don't think we sat down till like about 3 or 3.30 for lunch. So, you know, through the morning and the early afternoon, I did nibble on, I, I had cheese, crackers, mini toasts, pretzels, I had a, um, a minced tart. Actually, I'll be honest, I probably had two minced tarts. Um, you know, just, just really delicious stuff. Olives, uh, pate, um, we forgot to put the salmon dip out, but I had some of that later. But... When, and I did just, but, but, but what I would have done in the olden days, and, and this, is, this is kind of embarrassing to admit, but I would have been trying to eat as much of that delicious food as I possibly could get in my face without anyone noticing exactly how much I was eating. And I know, I know a lot of us have been there. Um, and I would have just like, hung around the food table. I would have found a reason to hang around the food table and just eat constantly until I was just about sick. Whereas yesterday, I was more than happy to sit and um, a lot of us, well, almost all of us had colouring in books, adult colouring in books. So we sat for quite a long while colouring in. And I was happy to just get up every now and then and go over and get, you know, a couple of mini toasts with a bit of cheese and, you know, a bit of cabana and, and, a, and an olive and go and sit back down and then not get up for quite a while again. So the, the focus on me was like eating delicious food but not feeling like I had to eat all of it. Um, and you know, like between all of us, there was six of us there and then seven later and we had another family member drop in. Um, we, threw, I mean, we threw food out. So, you know, in the olden days, like that probably wouldn't have happened because I would have eaten it all. And then we sat down for our lunch. We had um, turkey and ham and we had some a few different salads and some you know really delicious chutneys and prawns and um, my sister made these really yummy uh, pork and apple burgers and a really nice um, salsa to go with it and there was some chicken kebabs and you know I, I had a bit of everything that I wanted but um, you know when I when I looked at my plate you know there was there was a decent amount of food on it, and I'll actually I'll, I'll pop up pop up a photo for you. But you know, like my my plate in the olden days, you know, big dinner plate, I would have like piled it high. I would have had to eat and have eaten everything that was on the table, and I would have had like huge portions of everything, and I would have eaten it all, and I would have gone back for seconds, probably even thirds. As it was yesterday, I did have more. Uh, and more ham. I make the, the world's most delicious glazed ham, so I did have some more of that. And my sister had this really nice chutney um, that I put on it. So I did get a little bit more ham, probably um, about the same amount that you'll see on the plate, maybe a little bit more, but I did go back for more ham. But I didn't feel like I needed to eat everything. I just picked out the things that looked the yummiest for me. Um, you know, like I didn't have any of the chicken. I didn't feel like the chicken, and I didn't feel like the green salad, and you know. So I, was, I, I ate in moderation and I was still very, very happy and, and, you know, felt nice. After that I did have a nap because my belly was really, 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 really hurting. Um, combination, because I was drinking as well, we started drinking at 12. I think, I think I've got something going on in my tummy. I, I can't really drink now more than one or two glasses, which I shouldn't have more than one or two glasses anyway. Um, without getting extreme tummy pain and if I eat like more than a normal lap bander size portion 
I get extreme tummy pain as well. So I laid on the floor moaning for a while. And then we got up and had dessert. Um, and even like with dessert, I had, um, what did I have? Oh, my, my niece made these little strawberry uh, Santas with mascarpone in them. And they were delicious. I had a couple of those. I had a small slice of chocolate ripple cake. And I had some trifle. Um, but again, it, I had like one bowl and I didn't even like fill my bowl. In the olden days, I would have put in as much dessert as I could fit in that bowl and I would have gone back for seconds, I would have gone back for thirds. Um, so like I did eat a lot more than I would normally eat because um, you know then even after, after we had dessert, you know like later in the night, you know we were playing games and stuff. I did have a little bit more ham. Um, someone cracked, cracked open a bag of um, corn chips. Corn chips are something that I don't keep in my house because I have no control with corn chips, but I do eat them when I'm at my sister's house if they have them. That's like my, um, my, my special treat and it's, and it's controlled because I don't have them here. So someone cracked open a bag of corn chips and so I had a couple of handfuls out of that bag and then, you know, they began getting passed around or whatever and that bag ended up empty. Um, and I still felt like some more. So they opened up another packet. And normally, in the olden days, I would have sat there and I would, and I'm talking about a big bag of corn chips. I would have eaten all of those corn chips until they were all gone. I would have eaten every last one of them. But when they opened up the second bag, I had about a handful and I ate those and I thought, I'm happy now, don't need the rest of that. So I closed up the bag and folded and put it away and, and I, was, I was happy, I didn't even, like the rest of the night, like in the olden days, I might have tried to do that. I might have thought, well, I've had enough. That's a, that's a decent portion size. I'm not going to eat them all and I would have put them away, but I would have kept looking at them and I would have had to get someone to hide them from me. But I didn't even think about them after that. Um, Alcohol-wise, I had, um, I think, three or four, just, you know, like small glasses of champagne. Um, I had, my brother-in-law made me have some coffee um, tequila. I shot a or like a sipping glass of coffee tequila, which it's not something I'd normally drink, but it was quite nice. And then later on I had a, um, it's called Father O'Leary's, but it's, it's like a Bailey's, but it's cheaper and I prefer it. It's really nice. And you put a little shot of, um, or a little dash of the coffee tequila in that. And then later on I had a, um, a beer, a Lazy Yak beer. It's, it's, it's quite nice actually. It's one of those fancy boutique beers. Um, and, and I really enjoyed that because it was really hot here yesterday and I, I normally, if I very, very, very rarely drink beer but if I do it's, it's on a really hot day. So I probably had six, about six drinks, six or seven standard drinks throughout the whole day like from 12 till I think I stopped at about 9 at night. I certainly wasn't drunk um, but I think that contributed to my tummy pain as well. But you know in the olden days I would have just kept drinking. I would have kept drinking until I fell down, until I just could not drink any more. But it got to about eight or nine o'clock and I just thought, no. and when you know my sister had another glass of champagne, she asked me if I wanted one and I was, no, I don't really don't really feel like drinking anymore. Um, but I also drank a lot of water and a lot of cordial in between and you know I didn't even have a hangover this morning when I got up. So anyway that, that's a breakdown of my Christmas yesterday. Um, and I don't feel like I missed out on anything. Um, you know, like I saw, you know, people around me eating a lot more. Um, but I just ate, you know, little bits, like all day, kind of. Not, well, not all day, but, you know, like throughout the morning and, and everything. And I, and I don't feel like I missed out at all. Um, Boxing Day, I do eat leftovers on Boxing Day. I had a little bit of leftover ham and turkey and a little bit of um, potato salad for my breakfast, but you know, on a bread and butter plate. And it was just a normal little lapbander size portion, maybe a little bit more. Um, and I did follow that up with coffee and, a, and some trifle. But you know, like it's now nearly one o'clock in the afternoon. I'm, I'm not hungry, I don't feel like eating. Later on I'll have some, I'll probably have like an early dinner. I've got the leftover ham, so I'll have some ham and I might I don't know, I might make an omelette with it with some spinach or something or just have ham and eggs or something. But you know, like after today, and I've got no other Christmas food in the house. All, there's no minced tarts left, there's no Christmas cake, there's no pretzels or chips or there's, there's nothing here. I'm, I'm back to normal food. Other than the ham that's in the fridge, um, I'm back to normal food from tomorrow because you know I ate leftovers for breakfast this morning. I haven't weighed myself this morning. 
yesterday, I jumped on scales, I was 93.2. Um, and I've actually made a promise to my sister this morning that I won't weigh myself until Wednesday, weigh in Wednesday. Because um, I know that yesterday, because I did eat, I ate some chips, I ate some cheese, I ate sea, um, corn chips, um, and I had free reign of eating, that I would have put on probably at least three kilos just in water retention. I worked out that I had, like with coffee, water, cordial and alcohol yesterday, I um, had about four and a half litres of fluid. I only weighed twice. I went to the toilet twice. Um, so, and then as we were sitting, we were, we were playing a board game or categories um, later that night, and I could just feel my feet filling up with fluid. So I know that I am, I'm so full of fluid right now. I wouldn't be surprised if I weighed 96 or 97 kilos. So I'll weigh myself on Wednesday. All that fluid weight will be gone and I'll just have the fat that I've gained over Christmas. Um, that doesn't bother me. I expect that each year. I figure as, if, if I worry about all the rest of the days of the year, I don't need to worry about Christmas and Boxing Day. So that's it. I hope everyone had a really good Christmas. Um, and, and that's it for now.